this method can be expected to help drug discovery research because of short process needed for the preparation of biologically active disaccharide nucleosides as compared with traditional synthetic methods. The main advantage of this technique is that unprotected nucleoside can be applied for glycation without heterosprotectin group manipulation to synthesize disaccharide nucleosides. Visual demonstration of this method represents useful information for successful glycosylation of unprotected nucleosides for researchers and students, not only in chemistry but also in other research fields. To begin, optimize the reaction conditions for the synthesis of compound alpha and beta 12 as described in the text protocol. Next, apply the optimized reaction conditions to the synthesis of beta-22 to beta-30, as well as for beta-33 using a similar procedure. In this video, the synthesis of compound beta-22 is demonstrated. Begin with the temporary protection of 2'-3' diol of ribonucleoside by dissolving 20.4 mg of adenosine-13 in 0.76 milliliters of anhydrous pyridine in a 10 milliliter pear-shaped flask. Then, add 80.4 milligrams of galactosyl donor beta-21. Now add 21.7 milligrams of 4-trifluoromethyl phenylboronic acid 11C. This boronic acid alternative is used